welcome to my 6.30 morning routine. I feel like a lot of people romanticize getting up super early as the key to success, but personally, I feel like getting enough quality sleep is more important, and if I can't get to bed by 9, a 5 a.m. wake-up call is just not happening. What works for some people may not work for you, and I think that's okay. Lately, I've been putting in a bit more effort to feel more put together for the gym and I feel like it's been helping with my motivation a ton even though it's really only an extra 5 minutes before I'm out the door. Part of getting myself ready also includes fixing my hair. I frequently just twist my hair up into a bun for the gym, especially when I'm closer to wash days, but lately I've been loving having my hair half up, half down. If my hair is looking a bit frizzy, I add a couple drops of this JVN oil. A little goes a long way, so definitely start small with this. I love putting on a cute matching set for the gym. I find it just really makes me motivated. I also like to lay my clothes out the night before so I don't have to spend much time thinking about it in the morning. And then I usually just throw some kind of jacket over the top just because it is a bit chilly in the morning right now. One thing I'm really prioritizing in the morning is making sure that I have water and a snack before I have my morning coffee. I just feel like the coffee doesn't impact me quite as negatively as long as I have something in my stomach before I have it. If I have coffee at home, I almost always use my Nespresso. I love the Orefio espresso pods and the caramel cookie coffee pods. I usually add oat milk or a vanilla creamer and then I'm good to go. Admittedly, Starbucks is often in the morning routine and if we stop there, I get an iced oat milk latte with two pumps of the brown sugar syrup. While I would love to say I'm a person that doesn't get on my phone the first hour or two of the day, that's just not really true, but it is a habit that I aspire to. By now, there's a good chance my boyfriend is waiting for me. We always go to the gym together, which I honestly love. I know it's not for everyone, but I think it's super fun to get to share our morning together at the gym. I personally love morning workouts just because I'd rather get it out of the way in the morning than have to worry about doing it later in the day and whether I'll have time to actually do my workout and then have dinner. So I love going in the morning. I usually do weightlifting, but today was a lighter day and I was feeling pretty tired. So instead I opted for this beginner's Pilates workout by Issa Welly. I will say if you're pretty familiar with Pilates, it felt a bit slow, but since I was looking for something simple anyways, it was pretty perfect. If you want to get my workouts every week, be sure to join my weekly newsletter. I'm adding the link in the description box. I also share recipes, podcast episodes I've been listening to, and other wellness related resources. After the gym, I usually just do a quick shower. I tend to save my everything showers for the evening just because I don't want to feel rushed. I 
I usually just do skincare in the morning and add makeup later in the day if I'm filming or skip it all together if I'm not filming at all that day. Since I tend to film my makeup for TikTok, it makes more sense to do it during my normal work time. I'm currently in love with my skincare routine. It's mostly just focusing on hydration because my skin is really dry, but the Caudalie Serum is meant to target dark spots and I've been using it a few weeks now and I'm honestly really impressed. It also just doesn't irritate my skin at all, which I was really surprised by. I have honestly always struggled with maintaining the habit of journaling, but I love the five minute journal just because it's not super time consuming. And even on days where I miss it, it doesn't feel like I've really thrown off my routine at all. Since I work from home, it is honestly a struggle sometimes to convince myself to really get dressed. I always put on something cozy and lately I've been trying to wear matching sets and cute loungewear at home while I'm working just to kind of get myself motivated for the day and feel like I've actually put myself together for the day. This breakfast is currently my obsession. I've been trying to increase my protein because I realized a few months ago that I was actually getting very little and breakfast is most often where we get the least amount of protein. This breakfast, on the other hand, has 27 grams of protein, which is amazing. Just hash browns, two eggs, and three chicken sausages. Today, I added avocado toast with some lettuce, but that was mostly because I had it. Usually, it's just the hash browns, veggies, and eggs. Breakfast is genuinely my favorite meal of the day, so I do cook a full breakfast almost every day. If I'm looking for something faster, I'll go for my green smoothie with collagen powder or a yogurt bowl with fruit and granola, both of which are also higher in protein. When I start the day with a healthy breakfast, it makes my food choices for the rest of the day feel so much easier. I also have a bad habit of just forgetting lunch sometimes when I'm focused on work, so it's good to know that I have a solid meal before starting to work. Although that is definitely a habit I'm trying to break, and one thing I'm doing to prevent that is having healthy and easy meals prepped and ready to go for myself. Look how good that looks. I genuinely feel like I could eat this every day. And after a pretty productive morning, it's time to get to work. I feel like having a productive morning really helps me get the momentum going so that I can continue that energy into the rest of the day. 